making their way through the final corner and headed out onto the front straight. Eyes left, looking at the flag stand and the four cars in good formation. And we have a green flag and a start. Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin. They are racing. And the TCR cars coming up to accept their green flag and get started as well. A good jump by Jack Polito in that Ford Mustang to slip out in front. And that is not what anybody else wants to see. Now the TCR ca cars making their way through corner number one. First three in single file, then a little side by side. Everybody driving smoothly and behaving nicely to get through the first couple of corners and get themselves sorted out. Back up front, the GT4 cars making their way through corner number three for the first time. Now you see the 95 of Anthony Martella leading the TCR field through corner number three. Again, everyone keeping their P's and Q's together. A little contact with the 38 and the 80 there. That's Megan Tomlinson in the 38, who had a little nudge. That's the 84 of Richard Boak, who was sensational, scoring victories a year ago here in Toronto, who is going to have his work cut out for him, climbing from the back of that TCR field. There we are now with a look at front with Justin Benedetto, who has made his way around the 22 of Jack Polito before we get to the conclusion of lap number one. And Jack Polito starting to pull a little bit of a gap between himself Excuse me, Justin DiBenedetto with a bit of a gap now between himself and Jack Polito. It is the 10 car of Jared Odrek who is out front of the 77 of Caden Goodrich and the four GT4 cars. There's the excuse me move from the four car of Justin D. Benedetto into corner number eight. We have seen that corner catch so many drivers out already this weekend having difficulty navigating through that challenging quarter. And there's the 10 going off deep into corner number one, a little bit deep into the corner for Jared Odrick. And he uses the runoff area and is now stopped at the end of the Long Lakeshore Boulevard straightaway. He'll take a moment and hopefully get that car refired and jump back in to rejoin the field. This runoff area, of course, there. Here's another look at it as Jared Odrick is trying to hold off the battle from behind, but just gets it crossways a little bit heading into corner number three. There was no way he was going to make that right-hander. And does the smart thing, takes the car into the runoff area. He's now going to take a second and going to have to perform at least a three-point turn to get that Mercedes AMG turned around. Back out front, it remains Justin D. Benedetto who is now feeling the heat from the 22 must Ford Mustang as they head into corner number one. And Jack Polito is unable to get back around, taking the long way around the outside of corner number one. He tucks in behind the four car of Justin Benedetto, and this is a good battle up front for the lead in the GT4 and the overall lead in the Sports Car Championship Canada. Polito now swinging to the high side, and it's a bit of a defensive line from Justin Benedetto. Still very early in this race. Only a few minutes have gone by, and Jack Polito looks like he might just take his time through this part of the course. Quick glance back now at the 10 of Jared Odrick, who is back racing. Jumps out in front of some of the other cars. That's a 95 of Anthony Martella now. But it's taken Odrick a little time to get going. Back out front. This is the best battle on the circuit right now. The battle for top spot in the lead overall and in GT4. Justin Benedetto with that first lap pass pushing his way through in corner number eight. And Jack Polito forced to settle in behind. Let's take a short break. You're watching Sports Car Championship Canada racing from the Toronto Exhibition. The Sports Car Championship Canada is brought to you by Michelin, the presenting partner of FEL Motorsports by Braden Motorsport, the official trackside tire support and service provider for FEL Motorsports. The CTMP Cup is presented by Omologato, the official timepiece partner of FEL Motorsports. The FEL Motorsports Nitro Center is brought to you by Purity Gas, the official nitrogen supplier for FEL Motorsports. Here they come again down the front straightaway. They'll drift from Driver's right coming out of corner number 11, back over to driver's left who set up for corner number one. 
following their way through. And down towards the long straightaway. There is Jared Odrick, who is now under attack from the TCR category. The, there, there is more horsepower, there is more speed in those GT4 cars, but the TCR cars, even with the front wheel drive and all the steering and braking, of course, on the front wheel, they are incredibly nimble and quick through the twisty parts of the circuit here around Exhibition Place and really hold their own with the GT4 cars. See if Odrick can make a little space between himself and the rest of the TCR battle. Right now, the 66 car of Gary Kwok is putting the pressure on Anthony Martello and looks like he wants top spot in that TCR category. Unable to get it at the end of the long straightaway. Martello having to concern himself with the GT4 car of Odrick up ahead of him. He should be able to pull away. And then the 66 car of Gary Kwok and Tom Kwok are in tow right behind the leader in the TCR category in Anthony Martella. Good fight through corner number eight. That's the 12 car that has gone off. That is Peter Hansen, who is into the runoff area now. Just like the 10 car, getting himself turned around, pointed in the right direction, and then he will get back out on the track and rejoin the battle. Still a great dice up front between the two leaders. The 22 of Jack Polito now trying to power his way around the outside down a long straightaway through corner number three. You see the back end wiggling just a little bit as they're door to door. And the four car of Justin Benedetto holds on to that top spot. Plenty of pressure from the 22 of Jack Polito. Great job by Justin Benedetto holding off that challenge this time. Two evenly matched cars, two evenly matched drivers, having a great dice up at the front of this one. Justin Benedetto spent a couple of years in TCR and has made the jump up to the GT4 category this year, racing that Porsche Cayman GT4. And he is getting an education and feeling the heat right now from that 22 of Jack Polito in the Ford Mustang. Nose to tail, they come through the back part of the course through the difficult and challenging corner number 11. Polito is keeping the pressure on him and again will drift to driver's left. Not going to try to make the pass there, but he does try to do the bit of a crossover and get underneath towards the inside, heading through corner number two in the long straightaway. Is that TCA car going to move over and get out of the way? Yes, Chloe Drummond is off to driver's left. Does not impede the GT4s. Terrific dice between these two cars. Justin Benedetto taking a strong line, defensive, leaves a bit of an opening coming through three. But Polito does not look like he's going to be able to capitalize right there, and Benedetto holds on to top spot. Hard charging action early on. Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin. Just about seven and a half minutes into this 40 minute race, and it has been a battle right from the opening green flag between Justin Benedetto and Jack Polito. Benedetto took the lead in the early going on lap number one through corner number eight. Now is having to navigate some slower TCA traffic. That's the 12 car of Peter Hansen that they're working their way around. Nice work by Hansen to move over out of the way and let those cars do battle. Caden Goodrich is quick to approach behind, and Peter Hansen stays over to driver's left as well. That is the third place car we just got a glimpse of going around the 12 of Peter Hansen. And one again, once again, it is Jack Polito who is pulled up alongside the four car of Justin D. Benedetto. Making the corner is the tricky part now for the 22 as Di Benedetto has that preferred line, gets the car slowed down and has a tighter turn through corner number three this time to maintain that top spot. Great showing in the early going here from Justin Di Benedetto in his first year in the GT4 category. As mentioned, he spent a couple of years in TCR, had a couple of wins, finished third in points and has made the jump up and so far has been able to hold off the defending champion from 2023. That's the 84 Richard Boak who is continuing to try to work his way forward. After having difficulties yesterday in practice and no qualifying, he has had to climb his way forward. 
and has managed to do that and pulled into third place right now in the TCR category. Richard Boak also now battling with the 66 of Gary Kwok and is looking to take over second in the TCR category. Good fight between these two as well. Great battles in both GT4 and TCR in the Sports Car Championship Canada. Nose to tail, once again, the 84 of Boak moves to driver's right, but will not make the pass headed into corner number one. He is just letting Gary Kwok know that he is there, and I take that back. He does come up the inside of the 66 car of Gary Kwok, who debuted this car a year ago, but he is now watching Richard Boak in that 84 pull away from him. What a climb from the back of the TCR grid through the early stages of this race by Richard Boak to move up into second in that TCR category. Once again, we resume the battle up near the front. It has continued between the four of Justin Benedetto and the 22 of Jack Polito, who is right on that rear bumper as they head through the final couple of corners and head towards the front straightaway. Seems like as they go through eight and nine, Polito pulls up very close to the leader, but has not yet been able to find a way past to regain top spot. Polito started on the pole position, and Di Benedetto took over with a bold move up the inside of corner number eight. As we've seen lap after lap, the 22 and the 4 side by side down the long straightaway on Lakeshore Boulevard. And once again, these evenly matched cars, the 22 Ford Mustang of Jack Polito and the 4 of Justin Benedetto and that Porsche Cayman are side by side. Jack Polito has not been used to running in second spot. He has finished on the top step of the podium through all four races so far this season in the Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin, but now is running second to that four car of Justin Benedetto. Just approaching the 12 minute mark in this 40 minute race, so still lots of time left. These cars will change a little bit in terms of the feel and the handling. As these Michelin tires get warmer, the temperature goes up, the fuel burns off. They will change and evolve a little bit as we go through this 40-minute race. And Jack Polito looks like he's taken a little bit of a breather, and he's just going to watch and learn a little bit from Justin D. Benedetto as they move around this track, and maybe there's a, another way around. Still plenty of time to make his way through. Very focused on this battle up front, and understandably, that's the 80 car of Connor Attrell and the 8 of Jonathan Young. Connor Attrell in that 80 car also started back in the pack, 7th in the TCR category, but has moved up now. Currently running 5th. There's the 95 of Anthony Martella, who is leading in the TCR category. And admired in traffic just a little bit right now. Trying to navigate his way through. Getting around the slower car of Robert Cipriani Detris. And now he finds himself behind the 10 of Jared Odrick in the GT4 category. Odrick, of course, had his problems earlier. Going off in corner number three. And took a little time to get pointed back in the right direction, going a lap down. But that is the leader right now behind him, the 95 of Anthony Martella in the TCR category. If you look back, that orange car, the 84, is Richard Boak, and he is running second in the TCR category. That's the 25 of Eric Kuntz, who is third in the TCA category right now. There's the 84 of Richard Boak moving through, still running second to Anthony Martella and trying to close that gap. Still 26 minutes left, so there is plenty of time for Richard Boak to 
climb a little further forward and really challenge Anthony Martella, who has held on to top spot since the drop of the green flag in the TCR category. Now navigating their way through, that's the 25 of Eric Kuntz in the TCA category. This is the item that you have to deal with in sports car racing and multi-class racing. The GT4s, the quickest cars, the TCR cars, a little bit slower than the TCA cars. Entry level, if you will, into the Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin's, the slowest of the bunch with only 190 horsepower. Oh no, problems for Justin Benedetto. that left front is down. That left front is down. Apparently, Justin Benedetto had contact with the wall. Did he succumb to the pressure exerted from behind? And now a spin by the five car of Robert Cipriani Detris as well. It was all going so smoothly, but now problems have come throughout the field. And that is the four of Justin Benedetto who took over top spot. Let's have a look at the replay. And yes, he's just got too hot coming through corner number one, and that is a hard hit on the outside wall. And Jack Polito, the pressure worked. He was hoping to and looking to force Justin Benedetto into a mistake so he could take over top spot. It was a big mistake by Justin Benedetto, who had hard contact with the wall on the outside of corner number one. Jack Polito says thank you very much, and he takes over top spot, and we're under a full course yellow just past the 15-minute mark in race number one for the Sports Car Championship Canada here on the streets of Toronto. Great action in the early going, a terrific battle up front between Justin Benedetto and Jack Polito. Polito starting on the pole, and Justin Benedetto taking over top spot on lap number one with a bold move up the inside. Here's a look at the problems with the five car, Robert Cipriani Detris. That's in corner number eight, as we have seen catch so many cars out so many drivers get caught out in that corner number eight is very tricky coming through here. It has been in years past, but seems to be the corner of focus this year in Toronto. It is a transition from asphalt onto concrete, the different braking surfaces, the different braking rates. There's been some resurfacing approaching that corner number eight. So uh, the braking is very good, but the corner itself is very bumpy. If you do not catch it just right, it will pitch the car sideways, as we saw there with Robert Cipriani Detris. Just a little brush with the outside wall. Terrific crowd here on day two of the Ontario Honda Dealers Indy Toronto, enjoying race number one between the TCR cars, TCA cars, and up front the GT4 cars in the Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin under a full course caution to go retrieve that car of Justin Benedetto, who, as we said, made the terrific move off the start of that race in his Porsche 718 Cayman and took over top spot. But since then was feeling the pressure from the 22 of Jack Polito, who was right in his tire tracks through the tight turns in the back part of the circuit here at Exhibition Place and then was right alongside him as they made that long run time after time going down Lakeshore Boulevard, but could not complete the pass. But what the pressure did do was cause Justin Benedetto to make a mistake, got the car crossways going through corner number one with Polito in tow, got a little bit wide, had some hard contact with the outside wall in corner number one, and Justin Benedetto damages the left front. Let's take a short break. You're watching Sports Car Championship Canada Racing from the Toronto Exhibition. Welcome back to race number three of the Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin. Just approaching the halfway mark. Let's run through and give you an update on where everyone is. Jack Polito, as mentioned in the 22, has taken over top spot for Polito Racing in the 77 of Caden Goodridge in the 77 is now running second in the GT4 category. Jared Odrick in the 10, who had the difficulty earlier in this race, got into corner number three just a little bit too hot, ran deep into corner number three, used the runoff area, and then got that Mercedes AMG turned around and then back out on course and has resumed the battle. At the top of the TCR category, it remains Anthony Martella who started 
in P1 for the TCR category almost 20 minutes ago. But it has been a big charge by the 84 of Richard Bogue, who could not post a time during Saturday's qual excuse me, Friday's qualifying, but has made a big charge from the back of the pack all the way through and is currently running second in the TCR category. Tom Kwok, who started second to Anthony Martella, is currently running third in TCR. Gary Kwok is running fourth, followed by Jonathan Young, Connor, and Quinn Attrell, who have also moved forward from the back of the pack in the TCR, and then followed by Megan Tomlinson. Eric Koontz is out front in the TCA category after those difficulties from the five car of Robert Cipriani Detris, who has moved up into the Sports Car Championship Canada after spending a little time in Radical Cup Canada. Had a chance to talk to Robert before the weekend's activities got going a couple of days ago. So there's an awful lot of learning. The Radical Cup cars and the sports cars behave very differently, of course, out on track. Radical Cup, open cockpit, as opposed to sports cars, which are very different and behave very differently. Different braking points, different center points and weight ratios to deal with. Getting a good look at that beautiful gold number 10 of Jared Odrick. I stopped by the paddock on the way in this morning to get a good close look at that. It is a very sharp looking car. And the SECC paddock is, of course, open here in Toronto. A chance to uh, wander around and visit with these drivers and teams. Once this race is concluded, they'll be back in the paddock area. They'll be happy to spend a little time with you as best they can. Give you a little bit of information, a little more information about the series and about the paddock area. It's wide open to wander around the grounds here at Exhibition Place to see these cars up close. And as mentioned, that, that Mercedes AMG looks spectacular, as do the rest of the cars in the Sports Car Championship Canada. Drivers continue to circulate around behind the pace car. It's the 86 of Quinn Attrell that we're just getting a look at. He's moved up a few spots since the start of the race, unable to post a time yesterday during qualifying. It's the 12 of Peter Hansen. And safety crews have arrived, and they are looking to hook up and connect that four car of Justin Di Benedetto and move that Porsche Cayman out of the way so that we can resume green flag racing once again, just past the halfway. Still lots of action to come here in the Sports Car Championship Canada. They'll be back on track, of course, tomorrow for race number two this weekend here on the streets of Toronto. 10.50 a.m. is when they go green for a second 40-minute race. And then they will return to action in a few weeks at the Grand Prix de Trois-Rivières for rounds seven and eight, and they will conclude the season for the Sports Car Championship Canada 2024 season wraps up at CTMP as part of the Labor Day Sprints. The Radical Cup Canada will also be there that weekend. Looks like that cleanup is continuing, and a bit of fluid, it looks like, has been dropped from that four-car of Justin Benedetto after he hit the wall, so we have safety crews putting down a little bit of kitty litter to absorb that material. Then they'll get that car out of the way. Just want to make sure that they've got all that moisture up as best they can from the track before turning these cars loose at speed once again. Even though these safety teams here in Toronto and elsewhere on the Sports Car Championship Canada circuit do a great job. There will still be a little bit of trepidation as drivers make their way through that area for the first time. A little bit of the absorption material down. Want to make sure that you get through safely and cleanly. So we mentioned three categories of cars, the GT4, they are the biggest, most powerful cars here in the Sports Car Canada Championship with about 450 horsepower. Top speed about 260 kilometers per hour. The TCR cars with about 350 horsepower. And just a little bit slower at about 240k for their top speed. 
TCA cars, the entry level, if you will, into the Sports Car Championship Canada, presented by Michelin, 190 horsepower and a top speed of about 150 kilometers per hour. And that's because uh, of those variations in speed is why we see cars circulating around and having to navigate the traffic from the slower cars. When we do get back to green racing, and it looks like that cleanup is progressing, they still have to remove that number four Porsche of Justin Di Benedetto. We'll see how quickly they can do it. We might need one more lap under caution behind the pace car, and the drivers continue to circulate. There's the 84 Richard Boak, who's made an unbelievable charge through the field to climb up to second spot in the TCR category after being forced to start at the back. Problems yesterday during Friday session, was not able to post a qualifying time, but he has now moved up. That 25 car of Eric Kuntz is the leader in the TCA category, sandwiched between the 80 of Connor Attrell and Quinn Attrell right now. That's how they're situated on the track, but they are racing in different categories. Eric Kuntz has been perfect so far this season in that TCA category, scoring four victories and looking to keep the streak going here on the streets of Toronto and make it five in a row. Give a shout out as well to the group that's here with Eric this weekend. Ran into his mom earlier today and said he's got a group of guests from Sick Kids Hospital with him. We'll give a shout out to them. They are here cheering on their driver in that 25. Let's take a short break. You're watching Sports Car Championship Canada Racing from the Toronto Exhibition. Welcome back to race number three of the Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin. Still over 13 minutes to go. That's plenty of time for a lot to happen in the Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin. We saw plenty of action in the first stretch under green. It was Jack Polito and the 22 Ford Mustang that had started on pole position. Four of Justin Benedetto in his Porsche Cayman made a bold move up the inside of corner number eight that has caused so much difficulty for drivers this weekend in all series. Polito looked to be a little bit surprised by the move. And the four car of Justin Benedetto took over top spot and maintained it until the pressure from the 22 from behind got to be a little too much. And that's exactly what Jack Polito was intending to do, running right in his tire tracks, staying close, filling the mirrors as best he could trying to distract Justin DiBenedetto. We'll talk with Justin after to see exactly what happened, but the mission of Polito was clear, become a distraction so that the focus isn't on the front of the windshield, it's on the car filling the mirrors behind him. And forced or not, it was a mistake by Justin DiBenedetto going through corner number one, got wide and got into the outside wall and did significant damage to that left front, ending his day early and handing the lead back to the pole sitter, Jack Polito. Caden Goodrich in the 77 now runs second in the GT4 category, followed by the 10 of Jared Odrick, who had some difficulty himself earlier, hitting the runoff area in corner number three in that gold Mercedes AMG. Got it back circulating again, and he has resumed and taken over third spot in the GT4 category. We also saw corner number eight, a difficult one for the five car of Robert Cipriani Detris. Had troubles with his Subaru BRZ. Got turned sideways. And dropped back a few spots. The 25 of Eric Kuntz took over top spot in the TCA category. In TCR, it has been Anthony Martella from the drop of the green, started on pole in the TCR category, and he has held on to the lead. He's held off challenges from Gary Kwok, but now is faced with the task of holding off Richard Bogue, who had wins here in Toronto a year ago, had himself a terrific, terrific weekend a year ago, scoring victories and has climbed from all the way at the back of the TCR category at the start of this race 30 minutes ago 
to now run second with the field under a full course caution and anxiously awaiting a restart and perhaps an opportunity to go all the way from the back to the front in the TCR category. Richard Bogue looking to add to his win total this season. He scored victories in the first two races of the year. And there you see it. Nose to tail, the 95 of Anthony Martella and the 84 of Richard Bogue. Those will be the two drivers at the top spot in the TCR category when we resume action for the dash to the finish here in the Sports Car Championship Canada on the streets of Toronto. The advanced sim racing street sprint in the six. Waiting for the last bit of cleanup to be completed and get that four car removed. Just looking to see the pace car lights continue to flash up on top. And we'll wait to see how quickly we can get back to resuming green flag racing at the end of this one. All right, the four car has been loaded up onto the flatbed. That Porsche Cayman of Justin Benedetto will be hauled away, taken back to the FEL Motorsports paddock. Final little bit of cleanup is happening right now along Lakeshore Boulevard. And as soon as we can get rid of those safety vehicles, we'll go back to green. Hard impact to the outside of corner number one, and you really see that that four car of Justin DiBenedetto paid the significant price for it. Some pretty good damage to the left front. It, it doesn't look as bad as it is, actually. Underneath, there will be a lot of work that that team is going to have to do overnight as they get ready for race number two in the Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin tomorrow morning. At 10.50, they will go green. So there the wounded car is out of the way, and there's another look at it. Back end got away. Di Benedetto could not collect it. Hard impact with the left front. And the 22 Ford Mustang of Jack Valido goes around and takes over top spot. Let's take a short break. You're watching Sports Car Championship Canada Racing from the Toronto Exhibition. Welcome back to race number three of the Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin. And the lights do go out on the pace car. So we'll look for that pace car to make the turn into pit lane and the field come under the control of the 22 of Jack Polito in that Ford Mustang. As we'll get set to resume racing action here on the streets of Toronto in the advanced sim racing street sprint in the six. Six and a half minutes remaining. Only a few opportunities for drivers to pick up positions. Polito leads the GT4. Martella ahead of Richard Boak, who's climbed from the back to second in the TCR category. And let's see what happens. Green flag in the air, and Polito with a huge jump. Pulling that Ford Mustang away, trying to leave the competition behind. And those GT4 cars, oh, the, the 95 of Anthony Martella feeling the pressure from behind. And yes, it's the 84 of Richard Boak who got around him in corner number one, and he takes over top spot as they go through that absorption material for the first time. Doesn't really seem to be affecting them. And Richard Boak has made the jump and taken over top spot ahead of the 95 of Anthony Martella. A change for the TCR lead on lap number one as they now head towards corner number three. A battle as well with the 55 and the 66 of Tom and Gary Kwok as they move up through corners three and four and head towards five. Back up front, that's the 22 of Jack Polito, who has pulled out a bit of a gap to second place Caden Goodrich in that 77 car in his Porsche Cayman. The 10 car, the Mercedes AMG of Jared Aldrich is running third in the GT4 category. All three cars out in front. And that's the TCR leader now, as Richard Boak has taken over top spot from the 95 of Anthony Martella as they complete their first lap back under green, following that extended caution period with less than five minutes remaining in this 40-minute race for the Sports Car Championship Canada, presented by Michelin. It's Boak, Martella, Tom Kwok, Gary Kwok, and Jonathan Young, your top five. Connor Attrell, Quinn Attrell, and Megan Tomlinson in the TCR category. 
And that's the look up front at the 22 car of Jack Polito, who is pulling out a little bit of a gap as they travel down Lakeshore Boulevard, headed towards corner number three, not really feeling a threat. The 10 car of Jared Odrick feeling some pressure from behind from Richard Boak. I think he wouldn't mind putting that 10 car in between. And there's a move from the 48 car, Ron Tomlinson. Further back, that's the leader in, excuse me, that is the second place car in the TC, TCA. That is Eric Coons. Robert Cipriani Detris continues to lead. Back up front, that's the 22 with a little gap now between himself of Jack Polito leads Caden Goodridge in his GT4 car as they come around under the bridge and head towards the start finish line with three and a half minutes remaining in this time 40 minute race. Jack Polito looking comfortable out in front of this field as he has done so frequently with a 1.2 second lead over Caden Goodrich. It remains Richard Boak, Anthony Martella, and Tom Kwok in the 55 in the TCR category. Just trying to confirm the scoring order for the TCA cars. The five of Robert Cipriani Detris, who had that difficulty through corner number eight. The 25 of Eric Kuntz. Back up front, it continues to be the 22 of Jack Polito, who is leading the 77 of Caden Goodrich, who has run some radicals, but and chatting with him earlier this year said he was really finding this Porsche came in easier to drive for some reason. He felt a little more comfortable in it. There's the 84 of Richard Boak, who is feeling the pressure from the 95 of Anthony Martella, who led so much of this race. But Richard Boak, who started at the back of the TCR field because he could not post the time during qualifying, had difficulties during practice is now trying to go from the back to the front and score the victory here in the first of two races this weekend on the streets of Toronto. Good tight battle between the 84 and the 95. Anthony Martella would like to have that top spot back and is doing all he can to pressure Richard Boak into a mistake. Just as we saw with Jack Polito and Justin DiBenedetto in the GT4 category, that's the strategy now from Anthony Martella, trying to force the 84 into a bit of a mistake, create a bit of an opening so that he can take over top spot. Just over a minute left in this 40-minute race. Tight line through corner number eight from the 84 of Richard Boak, not allowing that 95 any sniff of an opportunity to make his way through. And as the top of the TCR categories get out on front, we see the 22 of Jack Polito taking the white flag for the last lap. He has a 1.4 second gap. That's the 84 of Richard Boak, who is taking a bit of a defensive line into corner number one, not drifting all the way out to driver's left. Comfortable distance away from that outside wall. And Martello will now try to tuck right up behind and use the bit of a draft. He's moved to the inside. As we wait for them to come through, and the 95 of Anthony Martella is on the outside now of the 84 of Richard Boak. Boak again. Taking a strong position through corner number three. And Martella will look for an opportunity in the remaining corners of this last lap of the Sports Car Championship race presented by Michelin. The advanced sim racing street sprint in the six. Martella doing all he can to pressure the front runner. Jack Polito not really feeling the heat is all as he comes through corner number eight now and sets up for nine, 10, and 11. And it has been a familiar sight 
all season long in the Sports Car Championship Canada, presented by Michelin. It is once again in the Advanced Sim Racing Street Sprint in the six. Jack Polito in that 22 Ford Mustang scores the victory in the GT4 category. Looking back now, it's the 84 and the 95 fighting for top spot in TCR. Martella is going to give it all he can, but it is the 84 of Richard Boak that crosses the line first, and he goes from back to front to take the TCR victory here in race number one. Anthony Martella second, Gary Kwok in third. Terrific battle between these two in the closing laps. And there is the five and the 25 fighting for position once again in the TCA category as they come and conclude their race through these final couple of corners. Nose to tail, it's the five of Robert Cipriani Detris and the 25 of Eric Kuntz as they head out onto the front straightaway to take the checkered flag and conclude their race. The five leads the 25 to the checkered flag in the advanced sim racing street sprint in the six. Let's take a short break. You're watching Sports Car Championship Canada Racing from the Toronto Exhibition. That'll conclude race number one here this weekend for the Sports Car Championship Canada. The advanced sim racing street sprint in the six. We'll head over to Victory Podium to congratulate all the winners in the GT4 and TCR and TCA categories. So the perfect record remains intact for the 22 car of Jack Polito. As we look at the results in GT4, Polito taking over top spot when the four car of Justin Di Benedetto found his way into the wall. Jack, you felt the pressure early, but then you applied the pressure and looked like it was a forced mistake and you get another victory. Yeah, exactly. I just, uh, I got past there. I was uh, a little bit sleepy, I guess, under that corner. I applied pressure entire race, hoping that I'd make a, he'd make a little mistake and I could just squeeze my way in there. Unfortunately, he made a, a bit of a bigger mistake, but it's okay. I hope him and the car are okay, but uh, yeah, it caused me to get away with it, and then we just pulled off and took the, took the win. Richard Boak takes top spot in the TCR category after a charge from the back to the front. No time during qualifying. Charges from the back of the grid to score the victory ahead of Anthony Martella and Gary Kwok. This is not the way you draw up this victory, but you'll take it. What a drive, Richard. Yeah, you know, we showed yesterday it's not far from the penthouse to the outhouse. And uh, honestly, I thought we were done. Um, we banged the car pretty good. Wasn't fixable. Frank drove a few hours back to the shop, picked up the Gen 1. By the time he got back here, it was 8 at night. The guys worked all night. Car wasn't perfect, but it was enough. Um, even when we went to roll out, the clutch wouldn't work. So we had to bump start, push onto the front straightaway. Like there were just so many things against us. And that late race caution came out, and I said, This is my chance. Like I, I, I knew we had the opportunity, and I even said on the caution, If I don't get Anthony on the start, I'm not going to go for it. He's got a better car, he's got more pace than me made it stick and from there I just had to hold the young guy off and he was coming and he had more pace but I've got a little bit more experience around here so I was able to make the car pretty wide and I'm just so thankful to the guys like such an amazing race. And into the second page it is Eric Coons, Peter Hansen, Chloe Drummond and Robert Cipriani Detris in the TCA category. Eric, wow what another great run for you to score a victory here on the streets of Toronto. What a day. Yeah, originally I, I there was a bit of a mix-up with timing and scoring. So my team saw over the radio on the pace car that my, one of my teammates, who was running second place, we were training back and forth all race. He was still in second on the lead lap. So there was a bit of a mix-up. So I was, I mean, I was pushing that car right to the limit, over the limit a couple times. So I was about half an inch from it all being over with the wall. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very happy. I, I came into the pits thinking I lost, right? So I came and then they said I won, so I'm, I'm thrilled. The Sports Car Championship Canada is brought to you by Michelin, the presenting partner of FEL Motorsports. By Braden Motorsport, the official trackside tire support and service provider for FEL Motorsports. The CTMP Cup is presented by Omologato, the official timepiece partner of FEL Motorsports. The FEL Motorsports Nitro Center is brought to you by Purity Gas, the official nitrogen supplier for FEL Motorsports. 
We thank you for joining us here today. Great sports car racing here on the streets of Toronto. The Sports Car Championship Canada presented by Michelin.